Okay, so uh, we visited King's Barn Camping in West Sussex. Now, I really enjoyed this stay. Uh, the stay cost around 50 pounds for the night. Uh, each pitch comes with its own fire pit. Uh, they do just ask that you buy the logs and kindle in for them, which, you know, I think is fair. And again, they weren't overly priced, so a really good bargain there. Had some great facilities on site. So it had uh, male and female composting toilets, which are gonna be kitted out really nice. Uh, um, car parking area, there's plenty of car parking space. Um, and what they do have on site is a load of wheelbarrows so once you unload your stuff from the car into the wheelbarrow you can then just take that straight down to your pitch. Uh, the pitches are first come first serve so depends on how many people are there pretty much you can pick what spot you want out of the designated areas. Um, they're really well looked after. We chose one right at the back because it had a great view of the South Downs. They've got a really nice little shower area, so they've got cubicles which do have hot water and they also have an outdoor kitchen area where you can do all your washing up and cleaning and stuff like that. I will uh, pop a link below guys to this site. Um, again, highly recommend it if you're looking for a nice little overnighter down in the sort of West Sussex area. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Cheers guys. Yeah, yeah, I think that worked when we pulled it off. Nice one Lee. They actually got a uh, preset up bell tent that you can hire uh, to camp in. So, again, another nice thing if you haven't actually got a tent, you can at least get out. Right, so uh, I've actually got this little thing where you strike it uh, and it makes it, yeah, right. So, yeah, so no way I'm going to do that. We'll be using a uh, good old fashioned lighter because we've got that going now. So we're having a right nightmare at the minute. The bloody tinfoil that we're going to do for a tinfoil pouch to put all the onions and that in. All the tinfoil's just collapsed. It's all just ripped apart. So uh, yeah, they've gone. Um, we're just trying to do the uh, sausage now on the stove, but the, uh, the barbecue is actually starting to heat up a little bit more now. So I'm probably going to transfer it all across onto that and, uh, and cook from there. So uh, yeah, pretty stressful start, but yeah, it's, it's still nice. It's still nice. Good to be outside. Okay, so we've got this going. Just get that grill on and we can get the pan on there. Uh, and that can start cooking up the uh, onions and stuff. Yeah, that's a bit better now. They're cooking up all right. Wow, they are really cooking up all right. Whoa, a bit quicker than I, I expected. Jesus, that's hot. Let's get some of these bad boys off the street. So, 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 so hot. I'm just going to pop that down there because I literally can't get too close to this thing. It's just scolding my bloody hand. So, I'm glad I brought the tongs with me, making a bit of a hash of this, guys. So, coronary skills are uh, down out the window. But, wowzers. Yeah, that has got some real heat on it. I switched those burgers over to the pan because uh, they were just literally falling apart where the, the grill was so hot. Yeah, so a bit of a mess, but uh, yeah, they do after a long day. Yeah, the surroundings are absolutely amazing. So, yeah, I, I'll give it a eight out of 10. This might be going up each time I say this, no more I drink. <laughs> so, yeah, it's up to you.
<laughs> Just check it out. The food was pretty good. Um, had a bit of a nightmare with the whole thing. Next time I need to make sure I pack proper tin foil. The tin foil was shredded. You know where someone like peels it and then you kind of leave it and then you go to get a strip out of it and it just gets smaller and smaller as you go and then you can't do anything with it. Yeah, that's what happened. So the idea was I was gonna put all the uh, onions and peppers into a foil package, sit that on the uh, barbecue, let that cook down. That didn't happen, so we had to get rid of those. Um, ended up trying to cook on the pan, put the uh, put the stuff onto the fire, which was absolutely unbelievably hot. It's the hottest, but I'd say it was hotter than the sun, easily. Um, so we ended up cooking the rest of the meal on there. It, it turned out pretty good, a little bit charred, but, uh, I suppose that's all part of camping. So what I'm gonna do now is just gonna make some coffees. Yeah, and then we'll be ready for uh, a little bit of stargazing tonight, which I'll try and get some footage of. And uh, then bed. So I hope you're enjoying it so far. Uh, if not, I'm sure you just don't know. Okay, so, uh, no, nope, it's not in there. Try and be a little bit more uh, organised than I am, guys, when you go camping. It's my advice, especially if there's more than one of you. Okay, right, let's, let's get this kettle out. Let's try and do this one-handed. some coffee. And that little thing's really cool, so it's what I used on my last camping trip. Basically you just dump your, uh, your ground coffee in it and it just fills it through. You empty it out, clean it with a bit of water, it's ready to go again so you don't have to uh, you know, you're not sort of wasting filters and that, um, you know, a lot better for the environment. <laughs> I mean, bleep, that's hot. So let's have a little look at the setup tonight. So it's a bit messy, it's a bit cramped, but we've obviously got a uh, our double bed in there for me and the missus. And then for the kids, we've got a couple of single air mattresses put in. Um, but there is a little bit of room just over here. Uh, you know, just obviously, we can store our bags there overnight. It's a one-nighter, so uh, we're actually staying in uh, another family member's garden tomorrow night, just so we can have a few more drinks and not worry about driving. But I mean, considering what we're looking out, that is this. I say it's uh, well worth the cramped conditions for one night. Another little cool feature on this tent I've just found is they've actually got a uh, little section where you can put your feed in for electricity if you need to. So there's a zip on the side that unzips and then you can obviously uh, just put your cable straight in. So that's a cool little feature I've just noticed on that. I'm gonna get some sleep now and we'll see you in the morning. Right, morning guys, so um, it's about nearly nine actually. Um, a little bit up and down last night, but not too bad, got a bit cold. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna get a coffee now, get packed up, and then 
head up with it. So we're going to have bacon and pancakes, but uh, I think this one's a bit over the meat from yesterday. So uh, we've just got some uh, pre-made pancakes. So I'm just going to heat these up. We've got some maple syrup to go for those. So that's breakfast. And there we have it. All then done. Let's just get them dished up. Okay, so that's pretty much uh, all the main bits back to the car, so uh, let's just do a little time lapse and see how long it takes us to take down this tank. Okay, so thanks for watching today's episode, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, remember, if you're not outside, get outside.